everybody, it's Paige Evans. Thanks for joining me today. I have a process video of a layout made just for fun. I was in the mood to scrap and I pulled out some star punches and this is the result. So I hope you have fun following along in this process. So I started with my pile of papers from Truly Grateful that are not full 12 by 12 sheets. These have all been cut into or punched from or I've used bits and pieces of them. And so instead of cutting into brand new 12 by 12 papers, I always turn to this pile first when it comes to creating layouts with lots and lots of pattern papers. So I have three different sizes of star punches. One is from American Crafts, one is from EK Success, and one is from Fiskars. And I just went to town punching all kinds of stars from Truly Grateful in all of the colors. So here is my pile of stars and I'm going to do some mixed media on the background of this pattern paper. So it's white with a whole bunch of different colored polka dots. And I'm going to start by applying gesso to the background. And this creates a protective barrier between the paints and the paper. So the paints don't just seep right into the paper. They will sit on top of the gesso and create a different look. So I'm pulling out my favorite watercolors from Prima. One is called Tropicals, that's the one, that's the set on top, and Pastel Dreams, which is the set on the bottom. And I've pooled water in the middle, and you can see on the edges where gesso wasn't applied, how the water is just sinking uh, right into the pattern paper. But it all turns out in the end, and so I am dripping and splashing and flicking watercolors and coordinating colors into the pool of water to create my mixed media background. And then this process does warp the paper, so what I've found is the easiest solution is this is if you have a mink machine or a laminator, just run the paper through. I did it two times and it flattens the paper so it's not all warped. Continuing on, I'm using my Star Confetti stencil, which is now sold out, but I do have three different styles of stencils available still, and I will leave links to those below. And I am scraping white modeling paste through the stencil. This just creates another layer of interest and texture on the background. It's another mixed media technique, which is always Fun. And even though a lot of this gets covered up and it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, it really adds to the fun and colorful nature of this layout. So I'm scraping this 6x6 star confetti stencil into the four quadrants. And once that dries, I'm going to use this photo of my son Fox, but I just wanted to make sure that was the photo I was going to use. And then I took it off and now I'm going to add all of the stars and I wasn't sure the placement at first when I envisioned this in my head but then I just decided to add the stars kind of tone on tone so wherever the pink paint was on the background I added pink stars, yellow paint, yellow stars, green paint, green stars, so on and so forth so it creates lots of texture with the tone on tone or color on color technique. And then this part is the what took the longest of the entire layout. I decided to just stress the edges of each and every star to help them stand out from the background and it gives them some texture to the edges so that the edges are defined and you can really see each individual star. So after distressing the edge of one, edges of one star, I added a glue dot to the back and then stuck it on the layout. And that probably took a good hour to distress all those star edges and glue them in place. But that's basically the gist of the layout. The next part is adding the title and just a few embellishments and journaling. My son liked this title best, All Star Kiddo, so I went with that since so it's a layout for him and got that stuck down. And then I'm going to move a couple of the stars over a little bit just so I can incorporate my journaling into the design. I always like to write it with a pencil first to make sure I like the placement. So I wrote my journaling and then went over it with a blue pen. To finish up the layout, I'm coming in with epoxy dot stickers, also tone on tone, so adding pink dots on the pink stars, yellow dots on the yellow stars, so on and so forth, just for a finishing touch. touch. They look like little bits of candy and, again, to create more texture and pops of color. thought about adding more different shapes besides the dots, but in the end I took those off. I added a couple hearts, but took them off, so just using the round dots from the epoxy stickers 
and also a few from the puffy stickers. Adding a few here and there so you get the overall rainbow effect and that's the finished layout. So I hope you are inspired to use stars, my truly grateful collection, stencils, the works to create a super bright and colorful page. Thanks so much for watching and let me know if you have any questions. I will see you again soon.